Who is leading in ongoing infrastructural projects between Sudan and Uganda? Welcome to today's video where we will be comparing the development efforts of Sudan and Uganda. Our focus will be on the ongoing and completed projects in both countries, and we will determine which country is making significant progress towards development. So sit back, relax, and join me on this insightful journey. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay updated on our future videos. Let's dive in. Round 1 Let's look at a few ongoing or completed projects in Sudan. Number 5 Khartoum Port Sudan Railway The 1,000-kilometer railway between Khartoum and Port Sudan is being upgraded and extended. The project is anticipated to cost $1.2 billion and be finished in 2025. Due to its connection between the nation's capital and its largest port, the Khartoum Port Sudan Railway is a crucial part of Sudan's transportation network. Sudan's economy will grow and transportation efficiency will be improved with the renovation and expansion of the railway. Number 4. El Obeid Nile River Highway The 600-kilometer El Obeid Nile River Highway is currently being built. The project is anticipated to cost $1.5 billion and be finished in 2027. The western Sudanese city of El Obeid will be connected to Khartoum, the country's capital, by the El Obeid Nile River Highway. The highway will enhance transportation and stimulate the economy in Sudan. Number 3. Suakin Port Development Project Modernizing and enlarging the port of Suakin is the $4 billion Suakin Port Development Project. In 2025, the project is anticipated to be finished. The Suakin Port Development Project will turn the port into a significant Red Sea trade hub. Larger ships and more cargo will be able to dock at the port, fostering increased trade and economic development in Sudan. Additionally, the project will bring in money and jobs for Sudan. Number 2. Al Damazin Airport Expansion Project The Al Damazin Airport Expansion Project is a $1 billion project that will expand the airport in Al Damazin, which is the capital of the Blue Nile State. The project is expected to be completed in 2024. The Al Damazin Airport Expansion Project will make the airport in Al Damazin a major hub for air travel in the Blue Nile State. The airport will be able to handle more passengers and cargo, which will boost trade and economic growth in the state. The project will also create jobs and generate revenue for Sudan. Number 1. New Khartoum International Airport The new Khartoum International Airport is a $2 billion project that will construct a new airport in Khartoum. The project is expected to be completed in 2026. The new Khartoum International Airport will replace the current airport in Khartoum, which is outdated and cannot handle the growing number of passengers. The new airport will be able to handle more passengers and cargo, which will boost trade and economic growth in Sudan. The project will also create jobs and generate revenue for Sudan. Round 2 Let's look at a few ongoing or completed projects in Uganda. Number 6 East African Crude Oil Pipeline EACOP. A 1,445-kilometer crude oil pipeline called the EACOP is currently being built. The pipeline will move crude oil from Uganda's oil fields to Tanga, a port in Tanzania. The project, which is expected to cost $10 billion, will likely be finished in 2025. The EACOP is a significant undertaking that will strengthen the economies of Tanzania and Uganda. Both nations will benefit financially and economically from the pipeline. Number 5. Kampala Jinja Expressway A 51-kilometer expressway called the Kampala Jinja Expressway is currently being built. The expressway will link Jinja, an industrial city, with Kampala, the country's capital. The project, which is expected to cost $1.5 billion, will likely be finished in 2024. The Kampala Jinja Expressway will ease Kampala's traffic congestion and enhance Uganda's transportation system. The expressway will help businesses transport goods and services more easily, which will help the economy as a whole. Number 4. Entebbe International Airport Expansion Project The $2.5 billion Entebbe International Airport Expansion Project will increase the airport's capacity to accommodate 20 million passengers annually. In 2026, the project is anticipated to be finished. The project to expand Entebbe International Airport will help Uganda's tourism sector. The airport serves as a primary entry point for tourists traveling to Uganda, and the expansion will facilitate their travel. Number 3. Kampala Metro 
A $10 billion project called the Kampala Metro will build a metro system in Kampala. In 2027, the project is anticipated to be finished. The Kampala Metro will ease Kampala's traffic congestion and enhance Uganda's transportation system. The metro system will help businesses transport goods and services more easily, which will help the economy as a whole. Additionally, the project will bring in money and jobs for Uganda. Number 2. Hoima Kampala Expressway The Hoima Kampala Expressway is a $5 billion project that will construct an expressway between Hoima and Kampala. The project is expected to be completed in 2026. The Hoima Kampala Expressway will reduce traffic congestion between Hoima and Kampala and improve transportation in Uganda. The expressway will also boost the economy by making it easier for businesses to transport goods and services. The project will also create jobs and generate revenue for Uganda. Number 1. Ugandan Railway Network Rehabilitation the Ugandan Railway Network Rehabilitation is a $3 billion project that will rehabilitate the railway network in Uganda. The project is expected to be completed in 2025. The Ugandan Railway Network Rehabilitation will improve the efficiency of transportation in Uganda and boost the economy. The railway network will be able to handle more goods and passengers, which will make it easier for businesses to transport goods and services. The project will also create jobs and generate revenue for Uganda. Which country is currently leading in infrastructure projects? Given that both Sudan and Uganda are involved in a number of significant projects, it is difficult to say for sure. Although Uganda is also involved in a number of significant projects, the scale and timeline of these initiatives are not as impressive as those of Sudan.